Today, I'm taking you on a tour of Cedar City. Hi everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, today, I am taking you on a tour of Cedar City. Uh, that's where I currently live. So I've lived in Cedar since about August of 2014. I mean, there have been things that have taken me away. I've worked a summer in Alaska. I went on a mission to New Zealand. But besides that, I've pretty much been consistently here uh, ever since coming to SUU. So this is some highlight reels of what's here, things I've learned about since living here. The first thing I want to talk about is the lighthouse. Why we have one in Cedar, I don't know. But looking it up, apparently it got built for multiple reasons. But my favorite is they wanted to build a lighthouse so when California got submerged underwater, we would now have the closest lighthouse to the ocean. I don't think that's gonna happen, but it's a pretty great story and it makes me laugh. This is Park Discovery. I've had dates here, played night games, and even dug up a time capsule. I failed at the monkey bars, but got shown up by my husband, probably as I would have been if we had known each other in elementary school. Okay, so we have a temple here in Cedar. Uh, it got dedicated at the end of 2017, so it's been around so for like three years, three or four years. Uh, will be four years in December. Here in Cedar City, we have what we call Burger Alley. It is pretty much just a street with every fast food restaurant chain all together, strung along. And it's nice because if you want to get fast food, it's all in one place. I want to make a disclaimer right now. During this pandemic, it is best to stay home. I do think it's fun to sightsee in your own town due to travel limitations, but if you do that, please wear a mask, social distance, and be safe. Okay, so the tombstone. I learned about this from one of my coworkers. Uh, so apparently, back when pioneers had settled Cedar City, there was this lady who, she got married and her husband had to go up to Salt Lake for like a month and, or like two months or something. And when she came, or when he came back, his wife was dead. And she had been pregnant at the time, so his wife and child were dead. And the story goes is that he was gone and coyotes came to their house and she had to defend their I think they're chickens. I should look this up. Anyway, so she got bit by this coyote, which apparently had rabies, which gave her rabies. And she ultimately had to be smothered because she was out of control. So by the time this guy got back, his wife and unborn child had been buried because she just, you know, went crazy. This is historic Main Street. It has one of my favorite places, the Grind Coffee House Cafe. This is a popular establishment among college students and professors. Main Street also hosts a sheep parade, SUU's Paint the Town Red, and a classic car jamboree each summer.
I love cedar because it is just, it's so homey. There's a part of it, you come to college and you're just like, forever this place will have a place in my heart. I think cedar is so important to me is because I've created so many memories here. Um, I've met a lot of different people here and it's just been really nice. Cedar definitely doesn't have a lot as far as vacationing goes. I mean, unless you're into like skiing and snowboarding, but it is what it is. It's a fun college town. I've really enjoyed going to school here. I've enjoyed what's around here. That's my, my small tour of Cedar City. There's some just fun stuff here that I don't know, I don't think is in most towns in Utah. So that's what we have here. I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, maybe take some time to tour your own town. Uh, it was kind of fun taking pictures and going around the site, the sites here in Cedar. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you take some time to go explore your own town that you live in. There's plenty of stuff to be seen, especially right now during a pandemic. I know it's really hard to travel. Um, just get out there and there's plenty of stuff in your own hometown that maybe you've never seen before or visited, but it'd be a fun new experience. So that's gonna be it for us. Hope you have a great week. Bye.